in the previous video we've seen that um we've seen that when you're in a block when you're in a boat traveling four meters per second in the in the x direction so this is the speed in the x direction um uh, and the current is flowing three meters per second in the in the y direction uh so this is a speed in the y direction then then uh, then we can use pythagoras to obtain the resultant speed so we can use pythagoras to res to obtain the resultant speed so from here we would square root of both sides and that would then give us this so the uh, so 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 this here is our speed our speed is given by this so in this video i'm going to try and illustrate this so let's say you've got a um, a, a particle traveling uh, traveling around in a circle of radius a so uh, so this well we've seen this the, the parametric equations to uh, to describe this path is given by this so now if you look at this the speed of but don't forget one one revolution around here is 2 pi so so this is this is a time it takes to do one revolution so so 2 pi is the time it takes to do one revolution so if you want to know the speed it would be the whole distance here which is the, which is the circumference of the circle divided by the time and this is a time because the because when you look at this the the, um, the time it takes to do one revolution is given by 2 pi well the speed would be the the uh, the whole distance here which is the circumference of a circle of radius a divided by the time it takes to do one revolution which is this so the speed here is a now so so we we can see that the speed should the speed should be a so now let's let's um let's try let's uh, put our our equation here to use so earlier uh the speed so when given uh, when given parametric equations you can work out the speed by applying this so let's put this to use um so the speed is given by this meaning we've got to work out the uh, the speed in the x direction we've got to work out the speed in the y direction so uh so looking at this dx by dt so differentiate this that will then give you this and then now we need to find dy by dt so differentiate this that will then give you dy by dt okay so uh so now we uh, we can put this into here and then we can put this into here and then later on we've got to square square both of them so dy by uh, sorry ds by uh by dt is given by this is given by is given by is given by this so when when you square it the uh, the minus disappears so that will then give you this and then factorize the uh, the a squared factorize the a squared and uh, and this whole thing here is one so uh, so that becomes this and then square root a squared that will give you a so the so um so the speed is given by a which is consistent with what we what we uh, looked at uh, earlier where where if you get the whole distance around here which is 2 pi a divided by the time it takes to do one revolution which is 2 pi and then it gave us a speed of a which is consistent with this okay